Good morning, fishing friends. Jason here. We've got another episode uh, with Clear Fork Bassin, and uh, today uh, me and James will be traveling out to a uh, lake I've never been to before, but uh, it's a lake that I have a possibility of fishing a tournament at this year. Uh, I could choose between it and a couple other places in that same area. So uh, the name of the lake is Plum Orchard, so we're going to try it. Uh, it's not a, it's only about a 200 acre lake it's no no real big lake so uh should be able to cover most of that today hopefully but uh we're gonna have a good day on the on the water hopefully i've been uh out of commission for uh, a week or so with some personal issues and everything but uh hopefully we're getting right back on track here now and uh we'll be uh healthy and ready to go so uh Let's get out uh, on the water. Go pick up James and get at it. launch the boats and there's a view of where we'll be taking off from let's get out on the water and mess around a bit got my first one first one of the day guys on the jig KLM trailer evolution jig Fish number one tossed it right in by those trees. He hit it pretty hard. I, I tried to tell the GoPro to turn on, but it, it wouldn't turn on. But uh, right, we got here. Close it We got 13 inches, even. Pretty little fish, you go back home. Maybe I don't know what to say. It's pretty comfortable sitting here though, I know that much. I'm throwing a jerk bait now. I don't get nothing here in a few, I'm gonna go back to the jig and hit the rest of this hole. Got another one on the jig, right in the same spot. I hooked him in the bottom of the mouth, dude. Mm -hmm. Hooked him right in his, right under his tongue. It's a little, a little fella. I had to reach up and push the button on my recorder. Mm. Nice. Dude, they're killing, killing the jig. He tore that. I, to, I told you I thought I missed him because he did it twice now if it ain't no way he'll come back and uh, I'm using he sure enough did color D. I've got the my favorite color from KLM kick and crawl dark pumpkin brown copper flake and I'm using this evolution uh, jig I, missed one. I, I told you when I was over there I said man I thought I just don't have a feeling they're back that far stay here throwing dude there, there's some tall grass in here this and this wind ah, blowing right back in this area 
too, so, dude. It's always fun to get them on a jig, ain't it? Well, it sounded like they were caught with a jig. Yeah. 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 I ain't going to be winning. I might, I might get my limit. But I don't think... I don't think that last one would have made the cut. That's probably the one that you hooked over here earlier it got off. Now that other one was a was a wider. Just there's just right off this point, dude, and coming right into this little cubby hole, dude. right in here man they ain't big ones I don't think but sure are fun oh man I can't believe I missed that last one I thought for sure I had him <laughs> fix right now so I'm still thinking that they're still chasing them cra cr crabs. They're chasing them crabs. <laughs> Crawdads, yeah. <laughs> no, crabs. <laughs> I'd like to be doing some ocean fishing, dude. A little bit of offshore fishing. Yeah. You want to use one of my poles? Oh, I, 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 I thought you were talking about. Them poles is definitely at the house to do offshore fishing. Well, that's the only bait caster that I've never bird's nested to. It's like this wide and like that bigger. Well, I still got my spinner on. See my drop? I drop, drop. No, I got the one. Dude, I'm showing fish underneath me. I hate to pass them up. They're awful big. They're on the bottom. Fish attractor, 35 feet offshore. What? Fish attractors. Twenty feet behind me, there's fish laying on the bottom. I just hit my hit my camera with my pole. Oh, there, oh, there's a boat. What kind of a offshore tractor? What? The, I've never heard of that. What it says? I, I can read, <laughs> barely, but I can read. putting one of them uh, spinner baits on again and throwing out deeper. Let's bring it out and bring it in. What do you say guys? Uh, relax and relax in the corner and shoot some deep ball outside school where there's Prince. Let's see if that uh, a fish attractor attracts it. We're gonna get in this structure and catch some fish, brother. Oh, 
Well, there's a lot of structure here. You hear that squirrel? All right, dude, that's where I'm going. If I can get over here, it's not making too much noise. Would on the river, dude. If I, if I had a, if I had it away, I'd have been on the river today. Oh, dude! Did you see that? Got it. GoPro recording. Yeah, it's recording, dude. I seen him. He tried to hit it as soon as it hit the water. Now that's a chunk there. All right. It's a good one. I told you where I, where I was going. It's a pretty one. Dude, they're over in here. I hear them moving. I can smell them. Dude, that one tried to hit that. It seen it up on that tree. Cause I hit that, I hit that tree limb, dude. I hit that tree limb. Where they're at, they're down here. Oh, <laughs> he spit it out. <laughs> he threw it out. Uh, this is where they're at, though. Bunched up down here. I hope, that, I hope they're all pushed back up in here because of the wind blowing back this way. <laughs> all right. Well, we're, we're out of Plum Orchard. We took a little wrong turn on the way out. Gave us a little detour, but it got us, we got to the interstate. But James and his wonderful- Directions. Direction, sense of direction, uh, really set it off there. And you're telling me tall tales here about uh, oh, yeah. catching giant catfish out of Horse Creek. Really? <clears throat> Not telling him. What is that white stuff all over the place? Look at it. It's like snow. Snow? Why would there be snow here? <laughs> it's 70 degrees today, dude. Dude, that's snow. It's on the hillside. Dude, no way. You got a better <laughs> explanation? <laughs> wow, it's 70 degrees out. That is snow, though, dude. That's ba that baffles me, man. It's been 70 degrees for four yeah, days. Yeah, for a week, dude. They were snow three foot deep up here. No. I mean, that's weird. But anyways, tall tales about catching, which he's got pictures. He's got pictures. They're on his YouTube channel. Visit his YouTube channel, uh, Wyoming Bassin. And uh, subscribe and like, like his videos and comment all that jive but he's got one it's got 2016 review is that what it is yeah and it shows some of the catches he had but i i don't know I, I've, I've caught lots of bass out of horse creek and trout but lots of stock trout but uh every bass i caught there had been two three pound at best but I heard, i've heard heard all kinds of tales about people catching big bass and big catfish out there. And James is trying to say the proof's in the pudding on that channel, yeah, I it's guess. It's in it, dude. I'm telling you for a fact it's in it. You just gotta know where to fish them and what time to be there. Well, my granny, we're gonna go and we're gonna take you guys with us. And we're gonna see if we can get, get on some of the catfish. When's a good time? Around May to June. Well, it's gonna be a couple months. <laughs> Released on the water is about 63 to 67 degrees. That's precise. That's precision. That's throwing me off. That precision is throwing me off. I keep up with the catfishing. <laughs> like I 
said, the fast thing's been the last couple of years. Catfish, I bet all the life. I mean, I hate getting behind a big old truck. They can be annoying. But, you know, that that's pretty much, well, we caught four or five today, and some got away. James got broke off once. But, it was, a, it was a good day. It was a good day. Tomorrow, don't get to fish tomorrow, but we'll be back at it. Hopefully, I'll be back at it Wednesday. And then we've got tournaments coming up. The fishing tournaments. And that's my first tournaments on the 8th. So, that'll be fun. I'll take you guys with me and we'll do that. But, guys, comment, subscribe, and... What else, James? I don't know. I mean, what do they, they need to know? The only thing I can say is, if you guys want to catch fish, you got to get out there to catch them. <laughs> yeah, and you got to go places where there are fish. We finally went somewhere where there's fish. Yeah, finally. We finally went somewhere there's fish, and you know the water temperature was up to 55, anywhere from 55 to 57 at times. So that helped out a lot too. There's a rainbow, double rainbow all the way, full on. But, guys, we'll see you on the water next time. Peace.